My name is Erica Egedenissen, and I'm here today with Mitch Altman from Thermosol. And I'm excited about today's conversation. We're going to really celebrate small spaces and the luxury that you can create in those small bathroom spaces. Um, this will be kind of that intersection between uh, technology, comfort, and tile. And so all of these uh, will kind of come together today uh, in our conversation. So Mitch is a third generation CEO of Thermosol. Uh, his grandfather started the company in 1958. And um, Mitch, you want to tell the folks a little bit about yourself? Well, uh, thank you. Thank you for having me, Erica, and thank yeah. you for uh, making the call available, and thank everybody for joining the call. Um, as Erica said, uh, my grandfather started the company in 1958. Um, I've been the CEO since 1989, and uh, the interesting story about how the co company started is my f grandfather and my father were plumbers in, in New York, and uh, they they had a request from a French diplomat to put a steam bath in his shower. He had one down at his men's club, but he wanted one in his shower. And he asked if my grandfather could make a steam bath in his shower. So my grandfather put a, uh, a boiler, some, some type of a boiler in the basement and ran fin tubing up to the guy's shower and actually plumbed in a way to deliver the steam to his shower. The guy loved it, and in 19, this was 1956, and the uh, diplomat paid him $10,000 to do this shower, which was more money than he ever saw. About two weeks later, uh, another gentleman calls up and says, hey, you know, my buddy, the French diplomat, uh, has steam in his shower, can you do one for me? And my grandfather said, maybe there's something to this, and so he invented the mini electric steam generator, and Thermosol was founded in 1958. So that's how this, as far as the steam shower industry, that's how the steam shower industry got started. Awesome. So I'm excited to be here to tell you about where we are today, but that's where we started. Yeah, and Walker Zanger, for those that don't know, Walker Zanger has a slightly similar story. We've been in business for 68 years. Um, you know, it started with um, Leon Zanger's dream of, bringing marble to the masses, if you will, and started opening uh, distribution centers and showrooms across the United States. Um, and I came across Mitch uh, at another kind of Zoom session with Convo by Design. And the designer was sharing some images on some projects that she had done. And it caught my attention because I probably like many, um, don't have a grandiose master bath. I don't have the space for it in my home. And what got me excited was that I can create a spa-like experience with Thermosol in my own home and I don't need a very large space. Um, the system also um, allows for retrofitting and, and Mitch and I have talked about this very briefly. Do you wanna talk a bit about retrofitting and then we can dive into kind of the more holistic uh, ground up start if you want. Well, adding a steam shower to any shower is, is not that difficult. You don't have to do a total remodel to do it. The generator itself, which is about the size of a of a large tool, uh, a large carry toolbox, um, can go up to 50 feet away. So it can be placed in an attic, a basement, even the corner of a closet. And so the actual machine that makes this steam is not very large and it can go up to 50 feet away from the shower. And if you have access to any of the back walls of your shower, you can, you know, potentially open up the drywall and run the only pipe that you'd really need to run, which is a steam outlet pipe. And that would uh, allow the, the steam to enter the shower. And then you would also need to enclose the front of the shower with a steam door that would enclose the shower. Um, other than that, you can basically um, retrofit any shower. You'd have to tile the ceiling as well if the, tiles, if the ceiling is in tile. So you need to tile the room, add the shower door, and then have access to one wall. But you can retrofit an existing shower and it's not that difficult 
to do. Very good, very good. And so um, as I was looking through your product line, there's the, and we see in that image behind you, the idea of having a flat panel that you have available in seven and 10 inch, and that allows um, the homeowner total control over their kind of spa and shower experience. Can you tell us a little bit about Thermatouch? Okay, well, Thermatouch is, um, you know, our, our latest control. And, and like you said, we have a seven and a 10 inch at this time. And it's an Android based controller that is inside the shower. Now, an Android based controller touchscreen like your Android phone or your, your Apple phone, you know, touchscreen in that sense, in a shower was not an easy task because, you know, you have water droplets in a shower and water droplets can be sensed as a touch when you have a touchscreen like that. However, we were able to take the Android system and through our designs, we were able to make it so that you could put it in a shower. And so what that allows you to do is it allows you to not only control your showering, which with our digital shower valve, so now you're controlling the shower, you're also able to control the steam shower. So you, you're able to control both the entire shower, which is your temperature control, your volume control, your user settings for those on your shower, as well as your uh, temperature of your steam shower and um, your user settings. We also have, because it's Android based, we also have what we call tranquility scenes. So through video and sound, we have relaxation scenes like a babbling brook, crashing waves, uh, a fire. So now you have visual effects to help you relax in your shower. And uh, also with the Android based, we have what we call the Thermosol app store and you're able to access ESPN or news or um, relaxation apps, uh, a, a myriad of different apps, just like you would on your phone, right there in your shower. So from total, from total control, whether it be for relaxation purposes and total relaxation, or staying connected with watching sports in the morning, you know, getting caught up on your scores or catching the early morning news, or checking your LinkedIn or Facebook, yeah. things of this nature. So it's it's a truly um, from soup to nuts type of, of controller. Wonderful, wonderful. Um, so on the other side, the, the word I learned uh, last week was chromotherapy. And um, so that was, that was the area that touched with the serenity light and the the kind of sound rain head. Do you want to touch a little bit in on um, chromotherapy for everyone? Yes. So we have what's called the serenity light music system. And it's one fixture that mounts in the ceiling and it provides not only lighting, it's also music and it's also um, a rain head. So instead of having speakers, a rain head, and lighting, which is you know a myriad of items that you're drilling the top of your shower for, you have this one fixture, the Serenity Light Music fixture that combines all those things. And one of the items in the lighting portion, so you have a white light, you have a mood light, and then you have a chromotherapy light, which is based on the seven chakras of healing through light therapy. And each of the seven chakras is a uh, healing through light. Like your uh, it, one light is to help you soothe your stomach. One light is to help um, soothe your headaches, things of that nature. So it's based on uh, light therapy through healing. Oh, to, okay. Somebody's putting a picture on there. I'm trying is, to uh, show everyone those the that area that we talked about the other day. Right. So there's the there's the control screen for the lighting. And so the bottom one is, is depressed. And so that's the violet light. So that's for your head. So it depicts that particular light hue would be healing for your head. And the other two circles that you see the light on, one's for mood lighting and one's for white light. So that's the lighting screen. And um, this is an um, uh, installation, an example of, of what uh, that looks like when it's lit, correct? Uh, yes. Great. Yeah. 
it's quite lovely. I mean, I think that more so now than ever before, we're all in our homes and, and looking for that ultimate place of uh, reprieve. And I just think that this um, is such a fantastic solution for homeowners. So um, that's real neat. So the next um, piece that we touched on a bit, um, and somebody just asked the question, so thank you for loading me up, Christy, was aromatherapy. And um, as I understand it, there's nine different scents that they can add to their solution. Is that correct? Did I get that right? Uh, uh, yeah, there's, uh, well, I'd, I'd have to count, quite frankly. Okay. <laughs> It sounds about right. There's six right. and then there's three, three premium ones. But yes, it is. so the aromatherapy is uh, uh, placed in the steam head. All you need is a couple of drops. Our aromatherapy is medical grade, so it's really pure stuff. It's not cut with anything, so it's very um, potent, so to speak. So just a drop or two in the steam head for whatever your favorite favorite uh, aromatherapy would be, eucalyptus or lavender, uh, bergamot, you know, all the, uh, the known flavors of aromatherapy. And then I think we have uh, rose, some premium ones that I don't know, it takes, somebody told me it takes 100 petals of rose to get like a drop or two of the aromatherapy. But it's a medical grade aromatherapy, very highly concentrated and it's placed in the steam head um, to give the, the, the steam the fragrance of that aroma. So that's Wonderful. the aroma. Very good, very good. Um, thank you for touching in on that. Um, so the way that, um, oh, uh, Stephanie may wanna turn off her screen. Uh, the way that uh, the system works is, uh, uh, the way the thermosol works is that you have a personal wellness concierge who works with homeowners and uh, architects and designers to help them figure out the correct assignment, correct established um, system for their home. Is that correct? Yes. So on our website, we have um, appointments for consultations. And so uh, a showroom uh, person or a designer or a homeowner can click on those appointments and talk with one of our concierge people and we will go through the goals. If you want to do a full-blown digital shower with steam, you just want to do a steam shower, you just want to do a digital shower. You want to add lighting, music, and we would go ahead and, and take those goals and talk about the different products we have to get to, to accomplish them. Then we put together a list of the items that you would need to accomplish that and where you can purchase them through your local dealer Great. Uh, or online with our approved online uh, e-tailer. So that's okay. how we, we do that. Great. Um, and then we have a couple questions that I, uh, from chat that I want to address. Must the shower door have a transom on top? Uh, it does not need a transom on top. You know, a shower, uh, when you have a steam shower, you're going to have the door is going to seal the shower, so to speak. So when the, um, after you take a steam bath, once you turn the shower on, all the steam really dissipates. So it wouldn't be any different than just leaving the shower door open. So you don't need a transom. It's not necessary. However, you would want to probably leave your, your shower door somewhat ajar so that your, your shower has air since the shower door goes to the top. Okay. And speaking of doors, there's another question that asks about sliding door options for the glass when you don't have space for a swinging door. Yes, you can do sliding doors as well. And normally the, the slider will have a, um, a thicker felt to uh, make up the difference between the two panels. But you know, a sliding door, it has, has been done. In fact, the sliding doors were originally done uh, in the early days in uh, hotels and motels across the country. So yes, yeah, sliding door is no problem. Okay, and I wanna touch on a couple of things in the world of tile, if you, if you don't mind. So, um, we uh, at Walker Zanger, there's a company, there's a group called the Tile Council of North America. And this is the group that um, puts out guidelines and helps folks understand where and how they should be installing tile. There's certain types of tile that we recommend. So um, in these steam environments, we recommend a large format porcelain or glass. 
Um, we have large format porcelain slabs and um, Mitch and I have a project that we're working in conjunction on and we have some um, kind of starter photos that I can share in a minute. Um, and that's done with our Socolo product, which is a large format thin porcelain slab. So you could install that in the shower environment. Um, there is a question here on applications where existing shower was not built to standards. Um, you, you know, you're not going to have that guarantee on your tile um, and you'd probably want to be cautious about retrofitting and make sure that your tile installer is familiar with uh, the handbook and the guidelines. Um, also, with regards to natural stone, that's one where it would be on a case by case basis. So some, some forms of stone will be fine in this environment and some you just want to consider that. So again, that's, that's an area where that handbook, your certified installer should have that handbook and will be able to answer those questions for you. Um, so thank you for that. So um, Mitch, shall we touch a bit on um, the, we've talked about total wellness and kind of the um, environment that, that creates it. And I just wanted to show folks a couple of, um, couple of images, if you don't mind. Uh, this is, this is the one that I saw, this black bathroom uh, that got me excited because I think you'll see it's a very small space. So for, for homeowners who don't have a large footprint, this allows you to create that truly luxurious environment um, in a smaller space. And I think this middle image here really showcases the rain head with, with, um, with the, the uh, chromotherapy. So maybe you can talk yeah, a little bit about using no. this system in a smaller sure. space specifically. So uh, the products that are installed in the shower really don't know how big the shower is. For example, the lighting music system you see there can be in a small space. The touch panel, seven or 10 inch, can be in a small space. So the only thing that's changing in a small space is the size of the generator because of the amount of steam you would need to produce for that specific area. But you know, when, you're, when you've been in, in, in business for 60 plus years, <laughs> the bathroom, the bathroom started out, I mean, not the bathroom, but the shower started out small. So right. all the items that were manufactured many, many years ago were always put in smaller showers. So all the luxury and relaxation, as long as you have a space to sit in there, you can, you can enjoy with the lighting, the music, and the touchscreen, and the, and the steam. So it all goes into a small space and you know, provides the same relaxation and luxury that you'd find in just a larger space. Yeah. Um, and so would a large, if you're looking at a smaller or a larger space, does the equipment need to change or does the equipment flex based on the size? No, the, the generator size is the same. Like I said, it's about the size of a, a larger uh, toolbox. So maybe uh, 36 uh -huh. by 24 in size. Okay. And, you know, as a, as a footprint, and the only thing that changes inside that is the heating element, which is the amount of power the unit would, would put out. So all the other items would be the same size and would easily fit in any shower. Okay, great. And um, just for those who maybe are a little late in joining us, can we talk a little bit about how, how is it that I'm bringing a tablet or a touchscreen into a STEAM environment? Is that, um, what's the technology behind that? Well, because uh, I wouldn't bring my phone in, right? <laughs> yeah, well, that's that's the thing, you know. So it's a touch screen that's been developed for the shower, and you know we worked we worked really hard with the screen manufacturer as well as our in staff Android developers that um, to get the drops not to be activating the touch screen because you wouldn't put it in there. So it is waterproof, this is proof of the shower, and it gives you, still gives you the function of, of using the touch screen the way you would your phone, but allowing that to be in the shower. One of the other interesting things about um, our 10 inch is that, well, seven and 10 inch are both Alexa compatible. So you're able to use Alexa to control your shower and your steam shower. And our 10 inch actually has a mic that's built into it 
So uh, we're going to be able to talk to the 10 inch directly um, without talking to a hockey puck or your Alexa app. So that's coming in the future. Ah, very nice. Well, as a mom of a seven year old, it would certainly be nice to have something listen to me in the house. So I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> So we have a couple of questions um, and you may know the answer to them. Uh, we may have to get back to folks, but I'm going to go ahead and ask them. So, um, so Christy, we did just talk about the voice control option that's available, going to be available on the 10 inch and that's integrated through Alexa. Is that correct, Mitch? Yes. I do want to mention one thing yes. about the uh, Android controller, the Thermatouch. Sure. One of the things I think is the neatest thing about it is that it's fully up, updatable, upgradable in the field, just like your phone. So customers that have this equipment in their home right now re will receive a message, your, your, your controller has been updated. And so when the voice, when you're actually going to be able to talk to the 10-inch screen, you'll get a message that says your controller will now accept your voice commands directly or if we add new apps, or if we add new features. So all of these items that are in the field right now are being updated daily. If we find a bug, we can push out an update and update all the thousands of people that have this control in their shower now. Amazing. That's a truly unique feature in our industry, and I, I, that, I'm really excited about that. So I That's just want really to you understands that. Thank you. Okay, so um, the questions that we have in chat. Can an old steamist system that doesn't work anymore be taken out and retrofitted with your product? Yes, very easily. Okay, very great, easily. great, great, great. And then the uh, second question that we have is, how does chromotherapy work in California Title 24? I'm not familiar with Title 24. I don't okay. think chromotherapy, I don't think chromotherapy has any, I, I wouldn't imagine, I don't know what tw Title 24 is. Oh, you mean, uh, is I, I don't know what Title 24 is. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, Fedra, maybe if you have more information on that, we can we can answer that a little further and or uh, we can get back to you with them. We can Are we talking about, is that some kind of a water restriction? I, yeah, I, just, I don't know the I don't know the rules behind uh, behind California Title 24 either. So we'll have to see if she chats back in with that. So okay. Um, and then the next question that we had is: Can this be integrated with Control Four platform or Save On? We're working on that. Okay. And then for um, uh, somebody did respond that California Title 24 is our water restriction rules. Oh, okay. So that I, I got confused with chromotherapy and Title 24. So I knew that Title 24 was probably a water issue. Our, our Rainhead is California compliant. It's already been uh, certified for California use. Great. And um, is the lighting energy efficient? Is it LED? Can you talk a little bit about the lighting in the system? Yes, it's LED lighting and it's energy efficient. You're really not you're not in there for very long, but it is LED lighting, and so it's 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 efficient. Yes. Okay. Um, and there's a question about um, pricing, and I think the best thing for people to do with regards to pricing and retrofitting is to contact their personal well wellness concierge. Would you say that's the correct answer? Yes, I think that okay. would be a good way to find out what equipment is specifically, and then you know get a quote from one of our authorized. Uh, Great. And when we talked the other day, um, we talked a bit about water use and steam shower and how it, it actually uses a little bit less water. Can you touch on that with the with the audience today? Well, it uses a lot less water. I you know for twenty minutes twenty minutes steam bath, you probably use I'd say no more than two gallons of water. So you can spend twenty minutes in a in a steam shower relaxing and burn two gallons of water if. If you take a 20 minute shower, you'd be burning substantially more than that. Plus, you you know, you wouldn't be as relaxing as you would in a steam shower. So it's right. very, very efficient on water. Yeah, very good. Great. Um, so let me uh, let me share my screen here. I just want to share with folks 
some images from Studio Joey. And this, some folks on this call may have seen these images. Um, Joey is working on a project in conjunction with um, the Pasadena Showcase House. And she's using, um, what, what system is she using of yours? Uh, she's using a pro, pro uh, steam shower and Beautiful. a light music system and a 10 inch thermotouch. Okay. Well, uh, everything. <laughs> so that this area that we're looking at here, this is um, obviously an incomplete um, bathroom, but, but right here under this botanicals Tahiti wall, which is porcelain, this is where the bathtub will be. And then this alcove here with the window, um, and our uh, large um, Socolo slabs, this is where the steam, this is where the shower will be and the header. So this probably is a little bit more finished since we saw it, but I just wanted to show folks, um, and I believe this is a fairly small footprint bathroom. Um, it looks big, it looks bigger than I think it is in person, um, but you can see that you can take a kind of a smaller footprint and really create a really luxurious environment. Um, so I think this square here under the window is probably where that um, touch screen will go. Is that about right, Mitch? Yes, the touch screen is going under the window and the hole in the ceiling is where the light music system will be. And then on the, the floating wall in the center, so to speak, that's where the steam, steam line is running down. That's where the steam will come out. Very nice. And Once do you know, I'm sorry, do you know how this will be enclosed? Is this going to be all enclosed with glass? In showers, it's not anything. Yes, I, I was, um, I think it's glass. It's all going to be glass. Great. Very nice. Well, I just wanted to share those pictures with folks uh, because those, that's a kind of a recent project that's happening right now. Um, and I just thought it's pretty neat how we've, um, these two products have kind of come together to create this really beautiful oasis for those homeowners. Um, if there's any other additional questions in the chat, we'd be happy to take those in chat. Mitch, is there anything else you'd like to share with our audience today? Uh, I, I appreciate everybody being on the call. Um, I'm more than happy to answer any questions. I, I don't want to be too pushy on, on the, you know, the products and stuff, but I do want to say that we're, we're also excited about a new steam head that we have called the steam vection head. And what we designed there is uh, convecting the room with steam so that the uh, temperature towards the bottom of the room is similar to the temperature at the top of the room, because as you know, steam rises. So normally the room is much hotter at the top than where you're sitting towards the bottom. And our new steam head convects the room and makes it a more comfortable environment so that the, the room is more even temperature. You won't be hotter at your head than at your feet, so to speak, wow. which makes a more relaxing room. So we're excited about that as well. And, and when do you anticipate that coming to market? That's on the market now. Oh. That's, uh, that's part of our package now. Very nice. Um, someone has asked if the steam shower system requires a certified installer. So maybe you can touch a little bit. I know we talked about it at the beginning, but maybe you could talk a little bit of, about the sales process for Thermosol and then also the installation. Well, the installation can be done by a regular plumber. Uh, and it's very easy. It's a water connection and then you run the steam line to the shower as I mentioned before. However, we do have a program for certified installers. And what we do there is we go ahead and uh, train uh, regular plumbers on the features and benefits of Thermosol and how to install the units. And we, we go ahead and list them for consumers to use if they choose. And they will get an, an additional one year in-home warranty just for using that certified plumber. And what that does is it allows us to tie our trade uh, customers with the retail customers, okay. give the retail customer a benefit for choosing one of our trade customers, and we try to tie it all together, the loyalty between the trade and the consumer with the best product on the market, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. So we have a couple questions from chat. And one is, uh, can more than one person set up their own system within the controls? Yes, the systems have two user settings. 
So all your settings can be uh, placed into user one or user two, and you can even uh, make the user your own name and so forth. So you can plug in your own name and they would remember all the settings. So if, in, if you're doing like a digital shower and you use the white light and you like the temperature at 100 degrees and you like the flow at medium flow and you put it under your name, Erica, you push Erica, everything comes on. You, uh, if Erica likes the mood light and the steam at 110, she push the steam button, it's gonna be 110 in the mood light under Erica. And if it's gonna be under Mark Sorensen, you put Mark and it'll yeah. be his temperature, his lighting, his music on each of the settings. So Very it's totally cool. Very cool. And does the personal wellness concierge help me once, once the um, system's been installed, will that, they help me kind of walk, work through the system and make sure I'm set up right? Absolutely. We have, we have a customer care uh, unit that can walk through. We have many YouTube videos on how the, awesome. the product works and, uh, they do a fabulous job. Great. Um, and another question that came through is, does hard water create any issues with the unit? Yes, hard water is a hard water creates issues with anything that's yeah. running. <laughs> but uh, you know, a steam unit is a calcium machine. I mean, it's burning off the water and it's leaving behind the minerals. Um, so if you can put a uh, somewhat of a calcium filter, or if you're running a water softener in the house, it helps. However, you know, our products are designed uh, in a way that we, to maximize longevity in a harsh calcium system, uh, calcium based water. Okay, so great. Um, so again, on the tile side, I just wanna remind folks that the TCNA has a handbook that's in conjunction with the National Stone Institute. Um, any tile installer should have access to that or should have purchased that. Um, and they will be able to know exactly which type of tile to recommend. Any Walker Zanger associate can make recommendations as far as tile and stone and glass that we recommend using in a shower environment. The one that, that we showed you earlier, they used our Socolo porcelain slabs. And then on the opposite wall was the botanicals, which is a, a really beautiful large format porcelain. So I don't see any more questions um, in the chat. And so um, Mitch, unless you have anything else you wanna close us out with, I think we can uh, thank our guests for joining us today and, and have every, tell everyone to have a great afternoon. Yes, absolutely. Think? I thank everybody. I thank you, Erica, and everybody yeah. for joining the call. It was a pleasure to, to impart some information. I hope it was fruitful for you. Very good. And uh, again, just to remind, there's a note about a certified installer. Any plumber should be able to install um, Thermosol and there's a system um, with the extended warranty if you use a certified installer. Is that correct? Did I remember that right? <laughs> That's correct. Great, great. Well, thank you very much, everyone, for joining us today. This is uh, Erica Gennison from Walker Zanger and Mitch Altman from Thermosol. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a great afternoon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.